Now, what is the process, Dr. Gorbani, that a patient would typically experience if they were to go the route with a spinal cord stimulator? Well, usually patients have uh, uh, tried other modalities and have failed, such as nerve blocks, medication, and their quality of life has been um, deteriorating. Uh, at that point, we'll um, evaluate to see if there will be a candidate for this procedure. Um, there is a testing period involved with implanting the spinal cord stimulator before we go ahead and do the full procedure. Just to make sure it's something that's suitable for that particular patient. Exactly. A Ima trial run, so to speak. Exactly. Imagine uh, uh, wanting to have surgery and you test it beforehand to see if it works for you or not. Something that you can't tell your surgeon. That's right. But with this procedure, um, this testing period involves patient coming in, um, and uh, taking to the procedure room takes about 45 minutes to an hour through two puncture holes or one puncture hole with a needle we place these leads um, in the epidural space near the spinal cord. The wires will be attached to an external device and the patient is going home for about three to five days. The external device is the one that's going to be programmed and um, give that sensation that I told you about uh, tingling in the area that you use to have pain. And there are different programs that you can uh, adjust this uh, uh, device with. You can cover, let's say you have leg pain on the left and right leg pain or back pain or a combination of all these. So there are different um, programs that you can have this. Patients will go home for about three to five days and then they come back and tell us, yes, this was the best thing that happened to me or they say it didn't help me as much. The majority of people, about 60% or, or more, um, they want to go ahead with this procedure. Because of what they experienced, obviously, during that three to five day trial period, if I may use that phrase. Exactly. Compared to having uh, surgery, um, usually about uh, only 30% or more people who have reoperation actually um, are happier after the reoperation. So this is a much better number compared to uh, having a reoperation. Um, afterwards, if the patient is happy, those leads uh, are taken out, which takes about 30 seconds. Patient is sent home, and we schedule them to come and have the full implantation placed. The full implantation takes about uh, an hour to an hour and a half. That's not long. I was thinking maybe several hours, but an hour, hour and a half, that's nothing really. Exactly. For the kind of relief they're going to experience after it's Exactly. There. This is done under local uh, anesthesia with sedation. This is an outpatient procedure, so the patients can go home the same day. They would have about a three-inch uh, incision, sometimes even smaller, um, in the lower back where the leads are secured. Um, to the ligaments um, over the um, bones and the spine. And the wires are going to be under the skin attached to the generator that I explained to you earlier, which is placed uh, under the skin about an inch. And so you have another two inch or three inch incision. Um, afterwards, when um, patient is taken to the recovery room, this generator is programmed. Patient has a device like a remote control. You can turn it off, you can turn it on, you can increase the intensity of the stimulation that you're getting, you can decrease the intensity of stimulation. So the patient basically can control uh, themselves through this remote-like device that you just mentioned, what the levels of stimulation they're getting and therefore the level of of uh, treatment and, and relief that they want to experience exactly. based on how acute or not the pain is. Yes, there are some parameters that the physician uh, would apply to this programmer. So they have uh, certain abilities uh, uh, to change the uh, intensity or turning on and off and, and see how it works for them. Sometimes their pain is worse, they can increase the intensity. Sometimes it's less, they de can decrease in the intensity. Very interesting. Um, and the recovery time from the uh, incisions that people have is about a week or, or two weeks, much less than having, again, an open back surgery, a reoperation, which could take months of recovery and rehabilitation. Yes, big difference, because you're right. They're looking at something totally different. Obviously, you're looking at a full-scale procedure, uh, several months that could be involved, as you just touched on, as opposed to this option, which has a very high uh, success rate, I think you had indicated 60, upwards of 60% or more. The 60% of people would like to go ahead to, uh, to have the uh, full implantation. And out of the people who get the full implantation, yes. over 90% are happy with the 
with the results. Very significant. Um, uh, pretty quickly after the full implantation and their decrease in amount of pain, we're able to uh, decrease the amount of pain medication that these patients have been taking up to now. Um, which, uh, unfortunately, a lot of people, because of the side of, of, of the medications, cannot function anymore. With the spinal cord stimulator during this um, rehab period, people have noticed that their quality of life has improved because the amount of medication that they take is much less or almost zero. Their uh, functional ability has really improved. Their quality of life has changed dramatically compared to before um, having this device implanted in them. And anything that can help someone, obviously, that can relieve this chronic pain that you've described here thus far today without being hooked on medication. Uh, as you said, you become less medic medication dependent uh, by having a procedure like this done uh, based on the results that one uh, typically experiences. It's, it's really a no-brainer from what you're describing here. Exactly. The beauty of this uh, device is it doesn't involve any medication or delivering any medication to the spine. It works with uh, small electrical pulses.